Okay. A funny thing happened. When I went through school, I said, I want my ride in space. The shuttle was flying then. We have new craft now. Then we have the station up Alpha. I said, I want my ride. Right now, the uh, station is uh, run both in Russian and English. In any other language, something goes up. But you have to speak both Russian and American English to go over any kind of language. So, uh, what uh, you needed to translate to the Russian cosmonauts from me. Like they always tell me about the next thing they're thinking about is good air up there. Uh, you know, when they rich it up and stuff, with the things, but you think about you're breathing quite a lot. Okay, Bill is an engineer. He does not pay to speak. His diabetic condition will prevent him from going to space. His other conditions, uh, hypertension, hypercholesterol, notwithstanding. I'm glad John Glenn got to go at his age, but I do not seek to pay for a personal trip to space uh, on anyone's rocket, and I would not be a good candidate to go to space, in spite of what you are telling people. My personal philosophy, if you wanted to have a conversation with me in other languages, including Russian or German, or any other languages of the world, this thing they called Mastavism. Okay, the the great leader uh, of the Mastavist movement uh, used to say, "Philosophy without God is immoral." And I've noticed that only the faithful in in uh, cross countries, in star countries, are able to understand what it means to cross borders and speak to people as if they had a good, faithful background, okay? Not being your comrade, your countryman in other countries means when you use your sound, you're going to be misleading, lying, and untrue. Redundancy accepted to me, okay? What you set out to do when you speak with me from your countries is immoral. You ex accept the fact that you are not bound to God, that you are not what you call me, a slave to nuts. I'm an engineer. I don't have anything to say to you in your language. If you have something to say to me, I'll try my very best to comprehend you if you get a translator and put it into American English. Okay? I don't want to know you. I was glad Mikhail was translated and his comrade to tell me about the air and other situations in space. The word for space I know. I know some other words in uh, the Russian language. But I myself have been extremely vocal. Now as far as other countries, Japan and China, all these kids are trained to say, well, they're just like us. Well, they're not actually believers in the same religion and they have a strong country. The thing I like to say in the West and in this language is man does not live by bread alone. It's not meant to be dividing of us. But you will find that in Japan and China, for example, Israel too, that this phrase is absolutely incorrect. They have songs to the fact, we live by bread alone, we live by bread alone. Okay? Which means sometimes you put the, the, the food down and you have your love. Okay? This thing that we call love. I can't convince you that you're not love. I can't convince you that you're not a slave to nice. But I do know that the very least, if I'm not considered your countryman, I'm not considered your religion, you will attempt to deceive me full time. That is the reason you open your mouth to me, is to deceive me. Okay? I have incorrectly perceived you as someone who is not cold in the area of love. I'm not sure why my countrymen of the Christian and Jewish, Jewish religion, as well as Muslim, continue on having me address you this way. 
You seem to be misbehaving in our country. Now don't uh, use your sound for anything but truth and justice. Our way may not have you yet. We'll try our best to win you over. Da mir horosho da svedani. They said space, good, and have a good day. Ta ta. Bye bye. In English, too. Oh, rubbish. Scarbage.